All right, welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about theorem 1.2.3. Um, that has to do with the examples we just did where we found that the sum is actually a subspace, that the union isn't, and that the intersection is a subspace. We'll prove that in this theorem. So let x and y be subspaces of a vector space z. Their intersection, x intersection y, is a subspace of z. Their sum, x plus y, is also a subspace of z. All right, note that these subspaces, x intersection y and x plus y, are special. Uh, you'll prove the following in the worksheet. Um, the intersection is the biggest subspace of Z containing contained in both X and Y. And so if W is a subspace which contained both X and Y, then W will be inside the intersection. X plus Y is actually the smallest which contained both, which contains both X and Y. So if W is a subspace which contains both X and Y, then X plus Y is actually inside W. All right, so you have your X and you have your Y. Um, X intersection Y is the smallest that actually works as a subspace and is inside X and Y. And then for the something bigger, you actually have to add more elements to make sure that the sum works. And so that's why we don't take the union, we take a bit more, but that would be the sm smallest one that works is X plus Y. All right, so you'll do the note in the worksheet. So let's prove that X intersection Y is a subspace. Uh, we'll prove the three properties, but we will assume that the three properties are true for X and for Y. And so we'll assume the three properties are true for X and Y, and we will prove them for X intersection Y. All right, property one, we need the zero vector of Z to be inside X intersection y. But property 1 is true for x, so zero z is in x by property 1 of y, zero z is in y, and so it's in both And so 0z is in x intersection y. Let me just put this here. I've been running low on space lately, and I want to make sure that I don't make the same mistake here. All right, second, I need to take two elements in x intersection y. I need to show that their sum is also in the intersection. But um, V and W are in the intersection. That means that they're in X and they are in Y as well. But now X is a subspace, so I know I can add them. Y is a subspace, so I can add them and stay within Y. And so again, this is because X and Y are subspaces. Or if you want by property two of um, by property two, because the three properties are true, you can use property two. And so V plus W is in X and it's in Y, so it's in the intersection of X and Y. All right, part three, take V in X intersection Y and K in R. So we know that V is in X and V, W, oh, sorry, <laughs> and V's in Y, we just have a V here, because there are subspaces, K, V's in X, and K, V's in Y, by property 3, if you may, um, property 2. 
and then here by property 3 of x and y and so then kv is in x intersection y. All right, well, the three properties are true, so x intersection y is a subspace. All right, let's try the next one. I want to prove that x plus y is a subspace. So again, I'm going to assume that x and y are subspaces, and I'm going to prove the three property. All right, so I need to write uh, the zero as something in x plus something in y. So I know that the zero is in x, and I know that the zero is in y, since um, x and y are subspaces of z. And so that means that if I add them, I'm still going to get the zero vector, ah, sorry, not zero vector, zero element. But now I could see it as something in x plus something in y, and so this is in x plus y. As soon as I can write it as a sum of something yellow with something red, it's in x plus y. All right. Second one, I want to take V and W in X plus Y. We know it can be written as a sum, so V equals X1 plus Y1 with X1 in X, Y1 in Y. W is X2 plus Y2 with X2 in X and y2 in y, then v plus w is x1 plus y1 plus x2 plus y2. All right, so now if I really ask you to be precise and careful, you'd have to change the parentheses and then use commutativity and stuff and change the parentheses again, but let's do it quickly. Um, if I rearrange the term, I'll get x1 plus x2 y1 plus y2, uh, this, sorry, this is in x because of property 2, this one is in y because of property 2 for y, and so this equal to some x plus some y is in x plus y. All right, final one. Let me take some V, which is X plus Y, X1 plus Y1 in X plus Y. Let's take K in R. Then K times V is K times X1 plus Y1, which is K times X1 plus K times Y1. Um, each part is still in their respective vector spaces. This is in X by property 3. This is in Y by property 3. So this is still some X plus some Y. And so it is in X plus Y. All right. Check. And so we prove the three property, and so x union y is a subspace of z. All right, I'm sorry about running low on space. I thought last time it fit when I tried. Um, I will add more space for you guys. I'll put them on separate pages. All right. All right, so this is the end of this section. Um, next section we'll look at linear combination and span so i'll start with a review of what you did in linear one just to make sure it's fresh in your mind and then we'll do the same type of constructions but for any vector space so we'll do it for matrices we'll do it for functions and such